Hello, welcome to the Comparing Junos Configuration Using the Juniper Dot Device Ansible Collection Learning Byte. I'm Gordon Mosley with the Education Services Department at Juniper Networks. Let's get started. After completing this learning byte, you will be able to compare the active configuration on a Junos platform to a previous active configuration using the Juniper Dot Device Ansible Collection. The Juniper.Device Ansible Collection is a series of freely available Python modules that are curated by Juniper Networks. They are made freely available inside of Ansible Galaxy. Ansible Collection also requires the freely available Junos PyEZ Python library to handle connecting to your managed Junos platforms. This learning byte is going to focus on using the config Python module that's included in the Juniper.Device Ansible collection to compare active and previously active configurations. This is an example Ansible playbook that I will demonstrate using to perform a diff between the active configuration on a Junos platform and a previous rollback. The user will be prompted to specify the rollback to use for the comparison. So I have one play. This play will be run against this host, a single host for this particular learning byte. I will prompt, this playbook will prompt the user to enter the ID of the rollback configuration that you would like to compare with the active configuration. Now on a Juno's platform, you have the active, the currently running configuration called the active configuration and up to 49 Previous active configurations are also stored on the platform locally, and they're referred to as rollbacks because it, you can enter configuration mode and roll the co active configuration back to one of the previous active configurations or, or rollbacks. So when this playbook is run, I would like the user to be prompted. Which of the 49 rollbacks would you like to compare to the active configuration? The previously active configuration is called rollback1, but the user will be prompted and they can enter whatever rollback ID they want. Now, the task uses the juniper.device config Python module. It supports performing a diff operation. And so whatever the active configuration is, we will perform a diff between it and the ID of the rollback that the user specified. Now, you need to be careful because by default, when this diff operation is performed, the rollback is loaded as a candidate configuration, it is checked, and it is also committed. So not only will it perform a diff operation, but it will also apply or commit the configuration you're comparing against the active config. And I don't really want that. So I'm saying don't check, don't perform a commit check operation on the rollback configuration, and please don't commit it, right? That's very important. And then the diff output, I'm gonna store in a register named response. And then the next task simply uses debug to print the response. And this is how I will view the diff or the difference between the current active configuration on a Junos device, the VMX1 device in our case, and a specified rollback. I'm gonna to connect to my Ansible workstation now and we'll see how this works. Okay, this is my Ansible workstation and let's run the playbook. I called it rollback underscore diff dot YAML. So I'm gonna use the Ansible playbook command and we'll run it against the VMX1 device. Now I'm prompted to enter the ID of the rollback as we saw when we looked at the playbook. I wanna compare the act, current active configuration on this platform with the previous active configuration, rollback one. So I hit enter after I provide the value and it will print out on my screen a diff. Now a couple of things I, I want you to see here. The first, once the plays in the playbook have all been executed, I can see that both tasks executed successfully, and I see changed equals one here in the output. This does not mean that the configuration on the VMX1 device was changed at all. It simply means there are differences 
between the, configure, the previous active configuration and the current active configuration, and I can view those differences in the output. It's presented to me in a couple of different formats or dictionary keys. There's standard just diff output where all of the differences are printed, but they're all in a single line, and it's a little bit difficult to read in my opinion but the output is also presented as lined output and this lets me see the differences now here's what this means i compared the active configuration to the rollback configuration and so what's showing me here what it, the output is showing me here you see these minus symbols what this tells me is if i committed that rollback configuration rollback 1 I would remove from the active configuration all of the configuration that has a minus symbol next to it. If that rollback configuration had configuration that was not present in the active configuration, you would see a plus symbol to identify the configuration that would be added to the active configuration if that rollback config was committed. And so all of the chassis branch and the interfaces branch the protocols branch, all the MPLS and OSPF configuration would be removed if I connected to that Junos device, entered configuration mode, and typed a rollback one commit. I'm going to run it, the playbook again, and this time I'm going to compare the active configuration to rollback two. So the previous, previous active configuration and there's no difference between the current active configuration and rollback two. And so I can tell that's, the, that's how I see there are no differences between a particular previous active config and a current config. I can see that there are no differences. Both tasks executed successfully, but there are no differences between rollback two and the current active configuration on the platform. I'm going to connect to the VMX1 node that I ran this playbook against. And I'll kind of simulate exactly what that Ansible playbook and that config Python module did. It entered configuration mode. And the first time I ran the playbook, I said, I want to run playbook, I uh, compare the active configuration against rollback configuration ID1. So that's exactly like entering configuration mode and typing rollback1. Now I've simply loaded the previous active configuration as my current candidate. And so I can see the differences between my candidate, my rollback1, and the current active configuration by entering show pipe compare. You remember all the minus symbols that we saw when we ran the Ansible playbook and performed the diff? This is the exact same output from a show pipe compare after we ran a rollback one command. So the Ansible modules perform the exact same operations that you've traditionally done manually using the Juno CLI. In this learning byte, we compared the active configuration on a Juno's platform to a previously active configuration using the Juniper.device Ansible collection. Thank you very much. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.